Have you ever made a commit in a push, waited a few minutes for CI to run, and then realized you made a lint error like the one behind me? Or your commit message was formatted incorrectly, or many of the other things that as developers we must remember and try to get right. It's great to have CI catch these, but you can be more efficient by catching them sooner locally before you actually make the commit. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can be more efficient with a simple tool called Husky and a tiny bit of config. But before we get started, let me tell you a little bit about me and my channel. My name is Eddie Jowd and I'm a self-taught full stack developer focusing on open source DevRel and I'm a GitHub star and I also won GitHub star of the year. That's one out of 55 million people on GitHub. And I'm keen to share with you my knowledge and experience so you can get the job and money that you deserve. If that sounds interesting to you, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe below and hit the bell button if you want to get notified every time I post a new video or go live. I'd also like to shout out a few amazing amazing people in our Eddie Hub community. Ayush for sharing your notes on our resume live stream. For the people who couldn't attend the live stream, also get value from the event. So thank you so much for sharing that. As you can see behind me, they can get some tips and tricks from the live stream. And if they want to go learn more and see the full details, they can with the link that you shared. So thank you so much for sharing that. I really appreciate it. And Siddharth for your amazing notes on the Global Diversity CFP Day Asia. The notes are behind me and there's a link in the description below. I think it's amazing how you captured different talks and what you learned from them and shared it with the community in a GitHub discussion. So thank you so much for taking the time and effort to do that. I really appreciate it. If you want to get a shout out in my videos, it's easy. Just add value to the community. Back to this video. As you can see behind me, automation is amazing. Automate everything. And with GitHub Actions, which is a CI, it's so easy to do this with some YAML config. And I'm going to show you this shortly. But CI is the final step. It's an independent step, but it's a final step before the pull request is removed. And it might take a few minutes for you to get feedback, for you to get notification and to make more changes and then commit and push it up again. But what if we could make your life easier and more efficient by catching these issues sooner, locally, before you even make a commit. Well, you can with Husky. You can use it to lint your commits, to run tests, to lint your code, anything you want before you commit or push. Husky supports Git hooks. Let's jump into the CLI and have a look. Here behind me, I have got a clean, folder, a new project called demo with nothing in it. No Git repo, no package JSON. We're going to do this all from scratch. So you can see how straightforward it is with a few simple steps. So first of all, let's initialize a Git repo. And this can be done if you clone a repo, but if you're starting from locally, you can also initialize it. So it's the same thing. And you do that in this case by Git in it. So now we have a git repo locally. So we can do git status, we can do commit and so on. But we have no files or changes yet to do. So next we just initialize it with a package JSON file. And we can do that with npm init and why. So it just says yes to all the questions it's going to ask us. I suggest you don't use the Y flag and you answer the questions. So now we've got that, you'll see on the left we have a package JSON, which is a standard vanilla one. So if I wanted to commit that and with a really bad commit message, I could let me show you. So if I do a git status, you see the package JSON isn't being tracked by Git. So let's add it to Git so it tracks it. And now it should have an A by it, so it's a new file. Let's commit it. So if we say git commit, and we say this is a bad commit message, it will commit it. And if we look at the logs, and go git log, it will say this is a bad commit message. It will accept any message that we do. But we actually want to stop that because we want to use the standard conventional commits, aligns everyone's commits to be the same. And therefore you can actually also make a change log out of it. So when you create a new release, you can get a list of all the features, all the bugs that have gone in. And it's a great way to do that. But that's a video for another time. Let me know if you would like to see that. So with Husky, we can get it to lint our code. We can get it to run the tests. I'm going to show you how we can get it to, to lint the commit message, but you can get it to do anything that you want. So let's install Husky. I've gone to their documentation and we're going to use the automatic install. We're going to paste it into the command line and it's going to install. As you can see, it's added to our package.json as a dev dependency. And it's also created a hidden folder called Husky with a pre-commit, which is going to run npm test. But we actually don't want that because we haven't got tests at the moment. So I'm going to delete that. And at the moment, it will actually then do nothing as a pre-pre-commit. So we'll want to install commit lint and then we'll add it to husky so if we go to the commit lint docs we copy the install command paste it in i'm actually going to make a slight change i'm not going to install it globally i'm going to install it locally within the project 
that installed. So the next step that I want to do is just configure it. And we can do that by copying this line, which just puts a standard conventional commit linter into our config. And then we do one last command, which is add to Husky that we want it to run that check. And you can, like I said, you can get it to run anything that you want. So now I've added it. So in the commit message, you will see it will do this check on our commit. So let's test it. You already know from our git log that we have a really bad commit message. It doesn't conform to the conventional commit standard. So now we've made changes to our package JSON with the new dependencies. Let's try and do that commit and see what happens. We'll do the same commit like before. It's going to be a bad one. This is a bad commit message. And as you can see, it's failed. It didn't do the commit. So if we do a status, we will see that package JSON is still modified. It hasn't been committed. And you can see from the error messages, it says this is a bad commit message. There's no subject and there's no type. And it's given us two problems. And also it can give you warnings. This is a great way to make sure that your tests pass locally, that the linter is happy. And if you want to use the conventional commit linter, you can also do that as well. But you don't have to wait for it to get to CR you can check it locally before without any extra effort just do your commit as normal and if you forgot to run any commands then it will do it for you and this means people contributing to your project be it your core team be it your wider team in the open source community they will all also make sure they have the same standard as well and you may think how does it do that well when you do an npm install on the project after they've cloned it there is a prepare command here which does husky install and that will make sure that all the config you have set up on your project is also going to be use for everybody else. I really hope that's useful to you. I'm going to be using this in all my projects from now on. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Let me know what else you would run on Husky. What other pre-checks would you check before a commit is made? Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I look forward to seeing you in the next live stream or next video.